Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex! We have a gift here. Whiskey gift. From Brock Alexander, the Magnificent Bastard. Brock Alexander, you Magnificent Bastard! I like uh, the idea of this one. This is a Kentucky bourbon. Jeez. But it's an actual bourbon county distillery. Which is like the origins of bourbon yeah. and history and blah, blah, blah. These guys are so small and so focused. They're actually making their own stuff, right? right? Yeah. And they're, this is 62 corn, 19 rye, 19 malted barley. Okay. That is a really high barley ratio. It's a nice dark color. Right? And woo, it smells young. And piney. They're yeah. using six gallon barrels. So here, okay, that's starting to make sense now. Yeah, small because barrels. To get that color. In five to six months. Yeah, to get that color, but then also on the nose, still get that much new make quality. Yeah. New make character. It's like, wait a minute. That color doesn't come with that. This is super grain forward. New make nose. This is just about as dusty corn notes as I've ever smelled in a new make. Yeah, I'm on like a. I'm on a farm, man. Yeah. I mean, I don't dislike it. I've had a lot of new no, this that is I really absolutely, like. I have a memory right now of, there was a friend I had in sick, in fifth grade. Yeah. John, uh, damn it, what's his name? Johnson. John, it starts with a D. Anyway. Johnson. His family lived out on a farm. Yeah. And a huge property outside of Waco. I would go out there and we just would disappear for days. Mm -hmm. And our method of transportation was a John Deere riding lawnmower with the blades removed. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. And a trailer. Yeah. So we would load like tents, fishing poles, all of our stuff. His mom would make cornmeal from scratch and put it in a Ziploc bag. And we would just disappear like Huck Finn. And yeah. we would spend like two days just out on his property in mm -hmm. the woods or on the creek. Yep. And I remember driving through the farm on the John Deere through mm -hmm. the hay. Yeah. So to your an point, animal barn. Dried hay. Yeah. Um, I get some molasses and some brown sugar. And then there's like, uh, it's it's pretty, it's aromatic too. You don't have to go hunting a lot. It's yeah. Very, it's, it's a very present explodes nose. Explodes out of the glass. This is a 50% ABV. Andrew and Larissa Buchanan. And then I'm starting to get a little bit of like a fruity quality. As young as this is, there are layers to it. Now, it's not super simple. I'm gonna tell you why I didn't put this in Rare Whiskey Friday. Okay. Even though you can't get it anywhere but the distillery in Kentucky. Yes. There's no distribution. I gave up trying to find rhyme or reason in your selection for these Well, days. so look, every once in a while I'd be like, well, this is rare whiskey. And you're like, well, this is really remarkable. It should have its own episode. And I'm like, God damn it. What's the rules? <laughs> No, are, you, are, you, are you putting this on me? Yeah. Are you putting this on me? And so what I decided Maybe was... Maybe I go back and I look at all the bottles on Rare Whiskey Friday yeah. and I see some of these bottles. Like, wait a minute. Why isn't this its own episode? No, this is this is a big brand. This yeah. isn't rare. No, no, no not a big this. brand. It was a big, saying, interesting though. story. But I'm saying, though. You want, a, you want a tit for tat? Yeah. There were no big you brands on Rare Whiskey Friday. For tat? <laughs> is this a tat? <laughs> That's a tat. That's, That's a tit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I liked that idea. Yeah. I thought, you yeah, know, that, that makes sense to me. And so I like this one because of a couple of things. One, it's Kentucky. This is like being in Indiana, but not being MGP. Really quick. This is a Kentucky, but not. One of the layers I was trying to put my, 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 my finger on, there's like this jammy quality to it. So it's not quite fruity. It's not floral. There's like a little bit of like a jam. Apricot. Layer. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. 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 Apricot. Like jam. where it's grainy and you can taste the bits yeah, and yeah, seeds yeah. and things. You were saying. Um, this is interesting to me because it's Kentucky, but not big brand. Yeah. And they are not proofing down before they put into barrels. They're distilling their heart cut oh, so narrow whoa. that they just take what comes off the still and put it in barrels. Yeah. So their heart cut is only from 120 to 115. That is the biggest loss yeah. I have ever heard of. I wonder if they're coming out with secondary products to recapture some of that, because it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a it? lot of work and a lot of loss. No, I will say this though. Having, you know, spent some time with this, are you finding nearly as much of that new make now as mm -hmm. we did in the first approach? Yes. I'm not. I, I am finding like a fraction of the new make character on You're the You're acclimating. I'm totally acclimated to I, the new make. In, in a nod in that direction, I am getting more vanilla cream and other notes than I was getting originally. Mm -hmm. But that new make is still strong. 
There's that apricot jam. Ooh. And a little woody. Apricot jam, the woodiness. And then, ooh. You know what it is? It's popsicle stick. Uh, it's just enough of a wood note when you get to the end of a popsicle yeah, stick. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that actually. It's not wood char or varnish. Mm -hmm. It's just slight dry woody note. Yeah. And then vanilla cream and then dark the, molasses, the, apricot jam. I'll tell you though, the finish though, and I think the finish mm -hmm. is something that you really can't fake unless you have enough age in there. That does really start to thin out, like the body. Yeah. The body just kind of falls off the cliff. That popsicle stick is the finish. And it yeah. Just shoom, and it's just kind of doesn't really go anywhere. 50%. This is, you know, yep. 100 proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to add a little water. You want some? See what uh, happens? Very little because I don't have much of a pour left there. Uh, we got Reddit did it. Reddit did a lot of things. Hashtag GameStop stonks. <laughs> <laughs> What is your ideal setting for drinking whiskey? Where do you want to be and who do you want to be around and what are you drinking? Do you so, have one? I have the setting, I, don't, I mean, ideal, fine, but I don't know if it's ideal, it's just the place where I most often drink whiskey whenever it's not here on campus. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be at home, in my office, I got like a couch and a TV and game consoles and all that, um, watching a movie. All right. Yeah. For and me, about half the time, I'm drinking I'm drinking like a bourbon on the rocks, mm. and uh, yeah, there's a little some movie action. For me, it is uh, if it's not on campus. Yeah. Um, then my favorite is on my or someone else's back deck, mm -hmm. just sitting around. I got a new deck with bottles. I oh, is it done? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should check out my. Is it cool? My medium-sized deck. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm getting one too. Is it a big deck? Uh, it's bigger than the one I have. Okay. So you're a grower. <laughs> In the comments, what's your... <laughs> what's your go-to favorite whiskey drinking what's place? Your... Who are you around? What are you drinking? And you got like a spot? What's your favorite deck size? <laughs> <laughs> I'm rocking a hard medium. <laughs> I'm doing a 20 by 15, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I feel sorry for <laughs> Uncle Mikey's world. I was thinking about Danielle's mm, concern. No. no. <laughs> That's what it Add the water. About no, no water? No, add the water. Okay. Try yours. Mm. Ooh. I don't know what it woke up, but it's sour. Um, I didn't get sour. I got much more tannin-y, mm -hmm. but it did deliver a lot more molasses. Yeah, mm. more wood and more molasses. The sour note can kernel came right through the middle for me and that ruined yeah. everything. It got more lively too. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's dinging. You feel, you feel the heat if you add some water. All the oils, as, as you would say. I was thinking about Danielle's concern about doing lists and just being pigeonholed as a list channel. Maybe you need to start a third channel that is just for lists. I only put that in there because I wanted to see her face when somebody suggested, let's start a third channel. So here's the thing. <laughs> the main reason is you don't want to just get in the list routine because it's just, I don't know. There's not a lot of like personality there. There's not a lot of, you know, insights, storytelling. Right. You don't really go on adventure an adventure. It's like, here's some popular things. Yeah. Then just kind of cool things. Like I could read that from any like bullshit two bit opinion on a blog about right. Lisky. Um, also, like, there's still a lot of shooting and production work that goes <laughs> into that. So no, it's the same amount of effort as any other video shoot. It's it's eighty percent, seventy five to eighty percent as much effort. Yeah. Like whenever we are so busy. Right. It's like sh we need a little bit of bandwidth. We'll do like a list episode. Right. There's gonna be a list episode this week, by the way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> for, for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, like in terms of another channel, we got the two channels, man. I'm good with two. I'm good with two. You need a drink? <laughs> that's some bourbon right there. But oh, to yeah, that point, it. though, I really like that jam note. Yeah, and I wish it's, it was stronger. And um, I feel like the baby barrel. Right. Do, I, I feel like this is going to be weird to say. Mm -hmm. I might actually prefer the new make. Oh, to the aged spirit on this a little. That's interesting. Because I'm betting that that apricot fruit note is in the new make and the barrel sort of bled over it. So 
what I appreciate about this mm -hmm. is they're in the middle of Kentucky, mm -hmm. and this isn't right down the center of home plate, no. traditional classic flavors we've had a hundred times before. Mm -mm. It's bourbon, but it's like, oh, that's a nice, interesting angle, even though I sense some of the youngness. Yeah. I also find layers in there that aren't super common. Yeah. And they're enjoyable. Here's the fight, stealing a drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your lover's side. And if you drink, may you drink with us. Oh,